What is God? Within our reality, I never believed such a being existed. I have seen beings that we would consider gods. Ones that hold unfathomable power. Who have the ability to wipe us out with a thought. But their reach and scope of our understanding is within the bounds of our own reality. So what would constitute what God is? A being that would totally transcend this reality and look upon us not as if we were atoms, but as if we were thoughts or ideas, totally and completely separate from our reality. We would be nothing but words to it. Much like Superman could never physically interact with you or I, we would never be able to interact with it. But what makes the laws of that being the one who transcends us? Who writes the rules of this being? Is there one that transcends the being that transcends us? Where does this hierarchy of stories originate then? I have often thought of this. Perhaps there is a being out there we would never be able to understand. The one who transcends us and in very nature who transcends itself. With my studies, I have found there is an infinite set of infinite sets of realities. This is all contained within one singular dimensional plane. Upon further tests, I have found a transfinite amount of universes in one singular multiverse. So where do we stand to this creature? How many universes have I gone up just to find this thing erasing it all again? This fear of something not even I can reach begins to make me think all my efforts are futile. With this being said, the most I can do is try. I may never be able to stop it or prevent its damage, but I can save as many as possible. Why am I asking all of this? Last night I have done studies and tests, each coming back with an answer. Each test adding more information to our own cosmology. This universe is just a rung on a ladder to what seems to be another transfinite recursion of universes ever expanding, going up and down in a stack. With each individual universe seeing the ones below as words on a page. Would I be akin to a god for the ones I transcended using the suit? But to you I seem to be a normal human. What will happen when I eventually move on from this universe upwards? This is all in the unknown even for someone like me. Is the void really an end-all, be-all God? I fear this is the case. I cannot find a single universe below our own to be left intact. It's all been erased. An empty, endless void is all there is. Maybe for the one reading this, I am only words to you. Maybe the one who wrote my story is, but a fictional character in the unending layers of narratives. A hierarchy of stories, if you will. All of this seems rather unlikely, as I have conversations with people on this site. Sorry, I ramble on when I make a new discovery. This series is all about possibilities of survival and I have found all of this with a possibility matrix designed by my own people. It's unsettling to think what I thought was real and tangible be nothing but words now. The more I think of this, the more I dread and think of what's to come. Will I ever be able to reach the void and stop this before all stories become erased? I can only try. The reason I bring this up is because the more I study and the more time and effort I put into finding out how to stop the void, the more I become stuck in a depressive state. The feeling of absolute hopelessness is washing over me. 
Even if I were to rise upwards this stack, I would never be able to reach the top. Have you ever felt true hopelessness? It's scarier than any monster, human, or alien. True nihilism is depressing beyond belief. I wake up and run tests until I eventually pass out. When I wake the next day, the cycle continues, day in and day out. I would ask for assistance, but this is my burden. I feel that, since I first moved up the stack, I have started a never-ending chain of destruction in my wake. All possible possibilities, and even impossible events could have happened due to my pure selfishness. Life is a dark and fleeting place when existence as a whole is entirely reliant on your efforts and interest. Maybe you, reader, will not believe me, or maybe you will see what I mean. To put in perspective, even when a person is holding a gun at your head, even when you are being chased by a large creature who will kill you if they catch you, there's still a sliver of hope. Possible futures where you live. Possible realities where you can be the victor. In this situation, there is no hope. No possibilities. Only the void. Hope is the one fuel that keeps us going, and I am running on fumes at this point. With all the knowledge my people had, it wasn't enough. Even discovering how our universe system is ran on probabilities and abstract mathematics such as the Tegmark Type 4 Universal Theory, I still am unable to see what I can do to solve this problem. Last night I had a dream of which I was drifting in a sea of black ink. Every direction I look, it was empty, and when I looked into the sea, it felt like it was staring back through my own reflection. In this dream, the sun was up and bright, painfully bright. I can feel my skin burning and bubbling under the rays. It felt as if I was being punished by God. I could smell the scent of my flesh being cooked as the heat cranked up. I tried yelling in pain, but no sound came out. The only noise I could hear was my own skin being turned into what you people call pork rinds. As I wriggled and writhed in pain, I could hear its voice. Your story is strange. I can feel you trying to escape a predestined narrative. You are to bring others to me much like the feeble human reading this post. The void bellowed out to me. Suddenly, I can see a large jet black figure rise from the sea covered in this ink. The figure walked across the sea of ink and stopped in front of me, making eye connection. Although its face was featureless. When we locked eye, the sun started to set, and my wounds began to rapidly heal. A wave of calm washed over me as his appearance slowly revealed. The creature was a large, pale, no-eyed monster with only a thin set of lips and an unnaturally giant maw which smiled at me with a sharp, toothy grin. It breathed deep and spoke again, but this time in a calm, more gentle tone. Relax. I have no ill will toward you. Listen carefully, as I will only say this one time. I need you to keep bringing in readers. I must feed on their stories. I looked at him confused. What do you mean by reader? He looked into the sky, and I can feel him also peering into my soul. It's them I want. 
I want you, reader. I can feel your heart racing and your eyes following my words left to right. Soon I will be with you all. Soon. I looked puzzled. Who are you talking to? Who is this reader? It cocked its head towards me. You know nothing of this current situation. You are but a pawn, but even pawns are useful in the player's command. I can't feel any malice coming from this entity, but I still have a very uneasy feeling as if one wrong move and he will eat me. You may leave my void now, child. I have what I want, and... He takes a deep breath with ecstasy. It is delicious. The monster licked his lips shortly after he raised his hand and flickered it upward. All of a sudden, I was being flung into the air, as if something was pulling me at an alarming rate. Within seconds, I couldn't even see the earth. After flying for about one minute, I heard a crash and all seemed to slow down. The universe I was in shattered like broken glass, and when I reached the other side, I woke up. I was shivering and covered in cold sweat. Panicking, I looked at my arm as I felt a terrible pain. My whole right arm was bruised. I can feel a searing heat throughout my sun-scorched body. But it was all a dream. I don't know what is reality or fiction. I feel like I'm going insane. I need to rest. My head is spinning and my ears are ringing. My next chapter will be the next universe I traveled to. Until next time, be careful out there. Oren, Dad.